Uh, TBIN is a, a tool that farmers can use to as a surge capacity with their keep up with the combines. The trucks can't make it back in time. They can unload it. The grain carts not can unload on this and the trucks haul it back to the field. Seems like most of it is in around that 15 mile range. If they've got to go more than 15 miles, that seems to be where this starts to come to play. My original thought for it was though to follow high volume crops around. So you'd have your rolling storage because you've got high volume on this farm and next year we need it over there. But after being at the shows here, it seems like people want to use that as a surge bin following the combines. So I actually had a farmer come to me and want me to move a 10,000 bushel bin with when I was in the grain bin moving business, and, but I couldn't do it for permit reasons. That's what kind of gave me the idea. So I went to a friend of mine, Pat Bojo, and kind of mentioned to him, and he thought it was an okay idea, and we, we started out and at my farm building the first one, and then a, and that wasn't too much later, Trevor Phoenix was another a friend of Pat that he knew. He came in and helped us with the project and we built the first 5,000 bushel one on my farm. And then we went to the 10,000 bushel bin, which we built here in Brandon. Right now you have to drag a, a, an auger and a tractor there and a truck to load the bin. And we've had quite a bit of a request to have a kind of load itself or at least have the mechanism there. So that's probably the next thing we'll work on to smooth the operation out for the the ones that are moving like every day. Yeah, I'm just really, really happy to get recognized for something like this. It's pretty cool. Well, we're kind of located in on Regina, but uh, we we built actually this one here in Brandon and we moved it to a couple farm shows. And we're talk in talks with manufacturers right now to build some for us for this next upcoming season. And we just want to get a few out there to get them field tested with a few farmers, like a half a dozen or 10 maybe at the most. And so that's what we're working on right now.